set you free Don't you know you'll be in misery They call me They call me Dr. Love I've got the cure you thinking of And even though I'm full of Now to our city in turmoil coverage. Tonight, Riviera Beach Council voted on a resolution of a lawsuit by WPTV over public records. We go to Contact 5 investigator Wanda Moore now for the details. Wanda? What was before council tonight was a judgment worked out between both parties of the lawsuit, which in essence said that the city failed to produce the records in a timely manner and they also failed to properly maintain the city's public records. But against the advice of their own attorneys, council voted against that judgment, sending the lawyers back to the drawing board. And turn over all the messages. The lawyers from Rivera Beach were clear. We encourage the settlement in the best interest of the city. But that's not what happened. That motion fails. WPTV sued the city and Councilman Terrence Davis over missing text messages from his city-owned phone. It was in the aftermath of the unexplained and sudden firing of city manager Jonathan Evans that we requested the text messages. Months went by without any response, and then the city acknowledged that Davis's phone had been intentionally and professionally deleted. Davis denied any wrongdoing during Wednesday's council meeting. I did my job, I did what I was supposed to do in this whole process. Then Davis blamed the whole incident on the city's former IT manager. This individual lied about scanning my phone to me. He said that's why the IT manager resigned. The city manager disagreed and set the record straight. He did not resign due to this case. During the lawsuit, that former IT manager told WPTV's lawyers he had nothing to do with the destruction of the text messages. WPTV asked for an independent specialist to look at Davis's phone. That's when Davis said his phone had fallen into the ocean. Three council members, including Davis, asked for different language to be added to the judgment. We're, of course, going to give you the latest updates in the case as we'll get them. Reporting live in Riviera Beach tonight, what a more WPTV News Channel 5. YouTube, Blount County, Alabama, Jay Brooks, FightDHR.com. Hey, as you can tell, I'm pulling public records from Sneed. <clears throat> trying to pull public records from Sneed, right? Uh, I've been trying to get their policy for the last six months. They, they just fail to create one. They don't want nobody having access to the public records up there. It's neither here nor there. It's going to fall back on them. Uh, I'm just going to lay this out the best I can. Uh, there's so much. There's just so much. I'm probably going to miss a lot. <clears throat> I'll try to clear it up at the end uh, keep up with the names get your pen and pad keep up with the names of these people that I'm throwing out here I was asked to go pull public records uh, to see who they had hired on as the police officers up there amongst other records uh, I didn't want to give them nothing until they produced a policy they didn't as you will see the new town court clerk you'll see her she'll take a list of everything I'm asking and act like she's gonna give it right she wanted to know what I was wanting <clears throat> I had to give her some of it uh, it just is what it is it don't look good I didn't do it I've done nothing but give these people chances uh, it's just 
I was dealing at one point with the same court clerk that got arrested in October 2019 for lying in their own pockets, pretty much. <clears throat> uh, personal gain. I have it. Uh, it's not my wish to throw her out there, but she should be. Just Google Alabama town clerks arrested. And you'll see what I mean. How come she ain't out there? This happens a lot. Uh, the mayor was right there. The mayor was right there when all this went down. I mean, he, he could have stopped it. He could have. He didn't. He could have just answered some questions. I mean, he's obligated to. Either through public records, which they're not... They're not going to get a policy in place to pull them. <clears throat> well, that's just nonsense. It's nonsense that you've got a town clerk y'all just hired. Listen to her background of everything she says she has. Uh, it's coming up. You'll see. She's got all that background, but she don't know about uh, public records laws. Don't even have it in place. Two... Uh, the old town clerk resigned, said back in March, but I've seen her in November. You'll see. Ray Ware. She was there 25, 26 years. I bet Ray could tell some stories. But they left disgruntled from the way it looks. And you'll see uh, the Whitman chick that left. She really laid it out there. She did a good job. She stood up, but she went on her way. I don't blame her. <clears throat> I'd like to speak with her. But I'm just going to lay this out best I can. Try to keep up. And uh, it's going to be a long one. Watch it in spurts. It's already four minutes just in this. <laughs> it's just going to be what it's going to be. I can't do nothing about all that. Uh, so let's just dive right into it. And... Uh, get it done ah, ethics commission investigator speaks to Sneed council at the invitation of mayor LaShawn price special agent Chris McKay with the Alabama ethics commission spoke at the latest Sneed council meeting as the meeting opened, price moved for the body to recess into executive session citing good name and character Councilor Ann Sullen second the motion, but no other council members responded. Price asked town attorney Brett King how to proceed. King suggested the mayor call for a vote of any opposed. Ignoring the advice and the motion, Price chose to proceed without the vote and open session after McKay said he could present in either situation. McKay, Blount County resident, reviewed general operations of the Ethics Commission's and investigations. Following those explanatory remarks, he opened the floor for questions, some of which appear somewhere below. And to response to a question of training to commission provides, McKay warned that while some may wish to say they did not know their actions were in violation, the commissions exist partly to answer ethics questions prior to possible errors. Price directed a question and follow-up comment to McKay and attendees. He asked of options available when he might be continually badgered by others. McKay suggested that all public officials face questions from their constituents and that does not really fall under his purview. Price added, we have had people sitting on the council who are interfering with my directions of town employees. I've complained about that. As to the most common violation, McKay advised of theft or misuse of public property. In elaboration, he used examples of unreceded fundraiser money, officials who make separate trips in government vehicles for private purposes, and of one possibly photocopying church flyers on government machines. Uh, Mr. McKay's entire presentation ran about 50 minutes. I seen also where the mayor was, uh, he was wanting to use police escorts during his funerals at his funeral home. 
seen where he was whining about that uh, all right so i think this guy here uh the ethics guy uh i think we got a little bit more of a problem here than uh church flyers let's go right over here to this uh employees issue issues dominate sneak council session first reported last week two town employees tendered the resignation town clerk ray ware she read a statement announcing her retirement followed by mayor lachon's price reading town hall employee k whitman's registration resignation letter ware provided the blunt county and a copy of the statement she read to the council and the newspaper obtained a copy of the Whitman public re uh, resignation letter. Those appear on page 89. We're going to keep trucking here. Price advised the council of a letter from the local district attorney of the failure of the Sneed court clerk forward payments to her office covering the months of November 2018 to through February 2019. The letter asserts those payments are due by the 15th of the month following their collection. So is that is that Pam Casey? Or is that Tamara Aldridge, Aldridge the new prosecutor for Sneed up there? She's the, she's the little ticket lawyer. You know, Tamara Aldridge, DHR attorney. Uh, statement from former Sneed town clerk. It has been my honor to serve the citizens of Sneed and the mayors and council members. I would like to thank Mayor LaShawn Price and Council Member Ann G. Sullins for their faith in me and their kindness due to the tension between the council and the hostile environment that has developed at the office over the last year. After much prayer and talking with my family, I have decided to retire March 29th, 2019. Uh, that will be her last day. Now, that wasn't her last day. Let's keep on trucking here. This is uh, Kay Whitman's resignation letter. Dear Mr. Price, Sneed Town Council, my last day will be March 27th, 2019. I've thought a lot about what to say and how to say it. After the few short months I've been here, I have come to the conclusion that working for the town of Sneed is not for me. While I may have enjoyed my job, the hostile work environment, the dysfunction of the office, and the lack of respect shown to employees is something I do not wish to be a part of. I feel that there are policies in place that are not being followed by everyone. I think employees are treated differently depending on who you like or who likes you. My wish for the town of Sneed is that you, Mayor Price, and council members learn to work together for the citizens of the town which you were elected to serve. I hope you can put your differences and dislikes from one another employees aside to create a work environment that is better than it is now. My fear is that without change, it will be hard to find good, productive employees that will stay. I value myself as a person and an employee to work for someone that offers a work environment that challenges me to be the least or be the best I could be. I like this this chick, Miss Whitman. Um, I I think I might like old Ray Ware too. All right, so that should say a lot right there. Uh, all this happened in the last year. The town clerk got arrested in October. Uh, Ray's saying she was her last day was March 29th, but I'm this proved that wrong. Maybe she hung around. I don't know. Maybe she helped get the old clerk arrested. I don't know. All right, let's keep trucking here. Sneed hires new clerk August 21st, 2019. Here she is. Look at a little sweet thing here. Heather Lindsay. I mean, they spell this. Everybody's spelling it either with an E or an A, so I don't know. Uh, the discussion of Sneed Town Council approved hiring Heather Lindsay as town clerk, August 12th meeting. On a motion by Councilwoman, Councilwoman Ann Sullins, the council voted unanimously to hire Lindsay, former employee of Marshall County Sheriff's Department. 
Town Attorney Brad King started discussing on hiring of the new clerk by saying the council should either consider the last four applicants interviewed during the last council meeting or post the clerk's position and take the applications again. Solon said the council should get along better and make efforts to approve a clerk. Addressing Solon's, King suggested that uh, she introduced the name of an applicant. At that point, Solon's made a motion to hire Lindsay with a second from Councilman Sneed. The motion carried. Lindsay will take the position previously held by Ray Ware, who retired. Ah, red flag for me right here. Who is uh, Anna, Sull uh, Anna Sullins? Is it Anna or Ann? Ah, <clears throat> I seen in the last one there where somebody called her Ann G. Sullins. Now, I had somebody tell me... Uh, Give me some information on her. We pulled a name and it come up as Virginia Ann Garrison Sullins. Now, I don't know if this is the same person, but I got a funny feeling it is. Uh, the one we pulled up had been a, had a felony on him. Uh, could that be? Surely we wouldn't have someone that was a convicted felon on uh, the city council meeting down there, right? Because we know we got Tim Kent down there. He's down there on it. And uh, I just, I don't know. I have to stay neutral here. This lady right here, this is your new town clerk, guys. This is her. Check her out. Man, look at her. Ain't she sweet? Look at her. All right, so let's bounce back over. Alright, I got this uh, page pulled up on my cell phone. It's uh, easier to read all this off my cell phone. This is what, uh, the, this is coming straight off the Sneed Police Department. Sneed Town Hall, Mayor LaShawn Price and the Sneed Town Council pleased to announce the hiring of Heather Mason Lindsay, spelled with an A this time, as the new Sneed Town Clerk. As Lindsay begins her new job as town clerk, Due to the former town clerk, Ray Ware, retired after 26 years of dedication to the citizens of the town of Sneed. Be sure to stop in at the town hall and say hello to Miss Lindsay beginning Monday at 8 a.m. Below you will find a short biography about Miss Lindsay. I stop and see Miss Lindsay. I was born in Jackson, Alabama and went to school there until I moved to Georgia in my early teens. I finished school in LaGrange, Georgia. I first moved to Sneed area in 2008. I am married with four daughters, two bonus kids, and four precious grandbabies. I have been a member of the Mount Pleasant Baptist Church since 2009. After a brief move away, my family and I replanted in Susan Moore a few years ago because my love for this community has always come back to the forefront of my heart. This is my home. I spent the past 10 years working in a nonprofit ministry. I served in various roles of women and children before transitioning to the community service. My heart is drawn to helping others and I have had a passion for service since I was a young girl. I've also worked the past year in law enforcement administration. I am currently a student at UAB I majored two years in social work with a minor in criminal justice. I will start the next semester in public administration. My spare time is spent in the gym and with my grandchildren. I am so blessed for the opportunity to serve as the new Sneed Town Clerk and I look forward to serving the citizens of Sneed with honor, integrity, and excellence. With honor and integrity, she's she's willing to lay it on the line for you, Sneed folks. You 867 of you. Yeah, she's a real sweetheart. This is a prime example to the young men in this county to understand what you'll be up against, involved with anything with these women. These uh, these females here are just. I thought women were supposed to be a lot smarter than men. Do you not think there's uh, somebody a whole lot more 
ready to go for a court town clerk. I mean, we wouldn't have to have all this drama here. This lady is, she's something else. You should really look at her and understand that they're looking for people like this. The sickening. Okay, so she says she's married with four kids, right? All right. Well, if she's married with four kids, how come Leandra Wicks and Heather herself has on their Facebook pages that they're in a relationship? Two women. One of them's a Sneed police officer, and she's a court town clerk. I don't have to explain how that can go all wrong, right? Neither one of these women at any time said, hey, this probably ain't right. We probably shouldn't be doing this. That's called morals. You know what I mean? That's called having morals, knowing that that ain't right. Uh, a Florida district attorney and his girlfriend just got caught not long ago. Uh, set up a DUI on a guy. It was her ex-husband. He got a DUI. Come to find out, they set him up. It's called entrapment. It's called uh, corrupt. <clears throat> this video is so long already I can't throw up everything I'll get it in the next one uh, do we have this type of situation going on right here and maybe elsewhere because it dawned on me uh, when I seen that video a lot of things sort of come to light then but I'm gonna stay on this right here y'all understand y'all see the, the seriousness of this right they just had Chris McKay, ethics commissioner or ethics investigator. He was just out there in February. And they're already into this. She's saying she's married with four kids. And four grandkids, right? With two bonus kids. Bet them bonus kids are DHR children. What you want to bet? She come out of Marshall County. Why'd she leave the sheriff's department up there? That's neither here nor there. See, I'm having to jump in right here, so it just, just is what it is. Uh, I'd like to see her uh, application where she applied for that town clerk. <clears throat> I'd like to see all that stuff she says she has. Uh, why not? I'd also like to see text messages of the day I was there. She was on that phone that we supply her. We have every right to see it. I don't. I could say the mayors and Leandras and the chiefs. The only thing we need is the court clerks, and that'll prove what I'm saying here. There's no telling who she was contacting. They had me out there. Uh, I think I had to cut 25 minutes out of one of those videos. That's how long I was there. Uh, uh, as you will see here in a little bit, watch the video where I finally go back to speak with Heather. The mayor goes off. He cuts off into the bathroom. You have to keep an eye on it. And you'll see him go into the bathroom, right? He stays in that bathroom the whole time I'm in there laying out. You'll see how I'm laying it out. At the end, I'm. you'll hear him, when he knows I'm finishing up, he comes out of there, right? I ask Heather, and she's recording me, because she was. She would never bring her left hand above the desk when she was writing this stuff down. And not just that, when she was in there panicking, I was sh filming her through the window, and she had a two-way radio. I got that. She had a two-way radio in her. It looked like she was trying to figure out how to lock it down. Uh, I don't know what she was doing. I know this is, uh, this just looks bad. It ain't me doing it. I'm trying to lay it out here. It's, it is what it is. Uh, maybe I can get through this one. And then the next ones won't be so hard and so long. Uh, yeah, give me a copy of the text messages off the old court clerk there, mayor, and uh, her application for that job. I'd like to see her background. See if it's everything she says it is because she straight out lying to the public. Did her husband die and then she all of a sudden swing, swing the other way and get with Leandra Wicks Parsons, that's James Williams Trey's Parsons' ex-wife, right? 
We all know that. She come out of the Blount County Sheriff's Department. <clears throat> um, she was fired. She was the one that backed into the tree with Dale Barry over at his house with his wife in the car and denied her medical. Dale's wife, their confidential informant now, of course, for the $10 million lawsuit, she told me that Mark Moon was standing there when, when Dale got her out of jail. When Dale fished her out of jail, said Mark Moon was there and assured her that Leandra no longer worked there. <clears throat> it's true. Leandra posted it on her Facebook that she works at the Sneed Police Department. Uh, she's posted on her Facebook that her and Heather's in a relationship. Uh, now I can't find her Facebook no more. It don't matter. I got what I needed. And what you want me to do, snuff out their kids? Heather had all kinds of kids on her Facebook page. And now she's went in there and made a lot of it private. It's neither, it's neither here nor there. I got what I needed. I'm not one to just go... Uh, ramble around on somebody's Facebook page and get their kids. I'm not going to do all that. It is what it is. Heather, I don't like you. How you doing today, man? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. Why don't I get a public records request for him? A what? Public records request. Um, in her door way right there, it's a request for public records. What are you looking for? Thank you, ma'am. Um, just need to get the request. Who's the city attorney? Uh, Brett King. Brett is Brett. I appreciate it. No problem. Public records request for him. And the policy too, please. The what? Your policy. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't have a copy of the policy. If there's a policy, she would have it. Play in here. Mm -hmm. Do you have a policy now? Oh, you're working on it. No, no. I just need to get a policy uh, and a request for. Uh, I see you have a lot okay, of Okay, we do have a, a, a fee for like a copy of countenance or a copy of uh, an incident report. Can you not tell me what you're looking for? Not at the moment. Yeah, uh, I don't think so, Ray. How does Ray know so much about the cost of the public records? Uh, she knows all the ins and outs of the cost procedure, but she don't even have a policy at hand. I hear her bellow that out right there, okay? But here in a little bit, you're going to hear Ray change her tune. Maybe she went and educated herself. I don't know. <clears throat> it's not my job to educate somebody that's probably making $40,000 a year or more with benefits. Now, that's just my take on it. Ray's been there 25, 26 years, it said. So Ray knows a lot of what's going on here. Don't, don't let her fool you. You don't have to give nothing. You want a name? Concerned citizen. I'll jot that down on you, public records. You can't make one iota of a penny off pulling public records. That's a fact. And not only that, I will supply a USB drive, uh, brand new in a pack, and uh, I'll take it all, digital format. Not unless I need to see a hard copy, then I'll request it. Thank you, Ray. Uh, just need to get the policy. You know, most cities will have a policy, and then uh, and I got a request form here, so that's a good start. Y'all don't have like a policy on hand? No, sir. We're a small municipality. I mean, we have fee for a copy of a record, but you need to tell me what record you're looking for. Yes, ma'am. A, a policy, though, that's that should be. You should have a copy of that. I mean, that should be available to the public. That way, when I go to pulling public records, you know, we don't have a dilemma. You know what I mean? Because I'm sort of running I'm it. I'm sorry, sir, but there isn't any kind of written policy for pulling public records unless it is uh, an arrest report or an INO report or a personnel record. Those are restricted. Um, council minutes. Uh, 
Yes, ma'am. I, you know, I, I all that's you know that's what I'm saying. I don't the have policy. written policy, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I was getting at. Okay. I appreciate you. Not a problem. You have a blessed day. You too. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, public records request for him. Public records request for him, please. Do we have a policy now? I do not have a policy. I do not handle policy. But if you would like to speak to that town clerk, you're welcome to speak to Oh, you're not the town clerk? I'm sorry. I thought you were. Who's magistrate? I'm, mag I'm the court clerk and magistrate. I will look up records if you have a question, but I don't handle policy for the town. That is the town clerk. Are you here? Okay. You want to holler at her? Or am I going to bother her? Hey, I appreciate it. I know this ain't really a public record request, though. This is a... Uh... Well, look right here. It says, um, accident, I know, court document. That's the okay. request. Okay. Well, I've never seen a request like this, is reason, though. That's what we have. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I mean, saying. I made it because we didn't have one. So before you could just walk in and I had to write it down, that lets me have all the information that I need so that I can get that for you. So. Now, this is the court clerk that got arrested, busted for lying in her own pockets now. Listen at this, guys. Listen at how she's, she's uh, just trying to blow me off. That's the accident report form they have there. And that's their public records request form and policy. I, I, I should be able to pull anything I want right there. Now this is the same lady, can you imagine? I can hear it in her voice. She's wanting to know what records I'm wanting to pull to see if, she's, see if I'm on to her. Do you hear uh, Ray talk about, I'm sorry, sir, we're just a little town of 900. No, you're a town of 867 and a town with less than 900 people. You can hire a wino off the street and throw him in the magistrate's seat. Think about that. Oh, okay, don't but, have but like no deadline on like it. I come in here and request it now. You're going to go pull it now? Um, if it is here on site, yeah. we can. If it is not on site, he wants to see you, Ray. He wants to see you. Yeah, go do your coffee, um, though, Mr. Ray. Go ahead and do your coffee, man. I ain't no big hurry. Uh, if it is off site, no, we, don't, we can't do it the same day. We have to go off site and pull that. We try to do them in a reasonable amount of time, but we don't have a policy. That's what we try to do. Okay. Well, that, that's going to be the thing out of that. And I'm just not really getting the whole not a policy on there. So what, what's the issue with the policy? You've requested, that's, that's have you requested law. I mean, something? That's, that's state requested and then, I understand that. And then when I come down here uh, 30 days ago, when I come through, you know, Did I, you I request something then? No, I wanted the policy before I got requested. And, and there's a reason for that. I mean, and there's a let reason me, that, that we have a policy. Let me somebody who can help, okay? Thank you, dear. Town clerk in. Town clerk in. Thank ma'am. She looks busy in there. She's writing stuff. How you doing, madam? I'm fine. What you can I do for you? Public records request for one. Uh, public records request for one. Public records request. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so I just skipped on to the next time I went there because she was going to go get the mayor, but they ended up dragging Steve Gunn up there, right? <clears throat> Chief of Police. Ah, I ain't gonna throw old Steve out there, not in this one. I mean, him just bullshitted around there, anyways. I asked him some questions, he answered them. I moved on that day. So I come back, right? Now, oh, uh, Ray Ray, she ain't got a clue what a damn public records request is. Been here 26 years. Uh, Y'all remember just a while ago, right? She's quoting him, oh, it's going to be a fee for this and a fee for that. You know, that's that looks bad. It looks like you're trying to keep the public from getting them public records for cost of money. You'll hear me in a little bit say, that's going to be a problem I pay up front on them public records to Heather. 
Uh, but watch, you're going to get you some more of uh, Miss Ray Ray right here. You don't have a public records request for him yet? I don't even know what that is. That's weird. Are you a town clerk? Yes, I am. Wow. And you don't know what a public records request is? What's your name, man? Ray Ware. Typic what kind of public request do you want? I want a public records request form. I just want to open a request form. The that's... only form that we have is this one over right. here. Okay. I, I, I've gotten that form, and that's a accident or complaint form. Or... Is it for an accident? No. Or... Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got there that. you go. I've got that one there. Okay. Uh, that, I take it that didn't go to city council uh, to get a public records request form put in place. I mean... It's compliance with Alabama statute 36 12 dash 40. I mean, this is the third time. Well, and y'all still, y'all still, you're a... still trying to give me this right here after I was there up front, very nice about it. I, I've got that. That's a accident. Sir, I'll make on. a copy of any record you would have <coughs> if you want to go ahead and request something. Yeah, I just, I'm. I don't usually make people fill out forms to get them copies of council minutes or ordinances. Uh, they just ask for it and I give it to them. Um, can, I, can I make a copy of something for you, sir? Uh, yeah, we can. I just don't want no uh, problems when I go to request in forms. I want y'all to have the reason this is put in place. Like well, that. you know, most people are trying to go uh, paperless. And uh, I've always found it rather nice to make a copy for someone when they request it without asking for anything in writing. Hey, and I agree that is totally the way okay. I think it should be, right? So, so uh, we don't charge anything for copies of public records. And uh, to be honest well, with I mean, you, you're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use you for an example then, because if you're saying that that's the way you feel about it, I agree. I, I think it I should do. be that way. Uh, Okay, you know, so, if someone asks me for a copy of council minutes or an ordinance, I don't ask them to put it in writing. Yeah, I'm talking about You know, it. I think somebody being asking is enough to, to do it, don't you? That's pretty sweet, man. I like that. Hey, when I go to Poland Public Records, I will contact you directly. And that way I don't want to catch you when you're busy. I don't want to get you. And it's just going to be simple stuff that I'm looking for, okay? You're a very nice lady. I appreciate you that. Day, you, you? Thank you for laying it out. I appreciate that. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, right? How about you? Doing good. We got some work going on here, don't we? I think Ray's off her meds. I mean, what you want me to say? Do I need to go back and and cut that edit where she's barking out all them fees? All of a sudden now she's saying that she's never charged nobody for public records and. They just want it, they get it, and that's just the way it should be. This lady, she, she don't even sound right. Uh, okay, so if I went to pulling records right there, was Ray Ray, you think Ray Ray was going to run on back there and fetch them for me? They just wanted to know what I'm after. That's, that's what gets me. They should tell me what's going on. Instead of this coming out like this, I, it's on them, not me. She, they keep saying it's a town of 900. You know how many cars go through that city on the regular? I heard it standing room only in their courtroom twice a month. I figured it up on the low end, $300,000 a year. That's on the low end. Um, I think it's way more than that. I think it's up in the 500000 I didn't count DUIs and major stuff. I was just counting standing room only, 100 or better people from what I hear. Uh, they're making some jack. Little town of 900. Don't let them fool you. Making some money. And they're hiring people like Tamara Aldridge, DHR attorney. Corrupt to the core. Deny you a right to an attorney. You're fighting for your family. She did me. I'm your resource on that, right? She sat right beside me there while Libby Nash denied me a right to an attorney, didn't you? Tamara as a part of the bar association that she's a lawyer, she has the obligation to make sure that I have counsel. She was right there when I said, I'm gonna need time to get an attorney. They kept right on going and she never said a word except for what church I was in, what religion, did I run off and get married, you know, through the state of Alabama. 
No, I don't think so. I don't need the most corrupt state in the United States to tell me I love somebody, care about somebody. I sure didn't. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's laws in place to keep you from asking me questions like that, young lady. Think you knew them laws. You don't care. You're living in this uh, system that you think this is a third world country like Judge Sherry Cut Burns and Pam Gacy. <clears throat> Y'all are all just conniving folks. I just need Sneed Town Hall. Ah, this one's a good name again. Typical fall. How you doing, Dumel? Can I help you? Is Heather around? Uh, yeah, she's in her office in there. You want to let her know I'm here? I'm just going to scroll on back. Hey, what's your name? Jason Brooks. Jason Brooks. Jason. I'm going to walk back here and pose. Checking out this vault. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Huh? I think you can't go in the vault. I can't go in the vault? Is that public records? Huh? Is that public records in there? It's got some in it, but you can't go in. Only two people have to go in together. Well, I didn't ask to go in. I was just taking pictures of that oh. door. <laughs> I didn't think you can't go in. Yeah. You just let me know, wouldn't you? I did that, you Thank you, ma'am. Did she just say she didn't know where the records were? Oh, they're everywhere around here. I mean, uh, you got a big vault right there. When she means everywhere, probably means at the mayor's house, in the upstairs attic, at the mayor's, maybe a old coffin he don't use down there at the funeral home, stashed out. The council members probably all got it, strode out about their house. Town of 900, you don't even know where all your public records are? I think I'd have mine in that vault right there. Most of I mean, a lot of them are in there. Some of them are filed away. Older ones are filed away. In some building, I don't even know where it is. I'm like just you. temporary, so, you know, I don't. You must die in, right? Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, like, I like looking through them old books. You know, the old, the old, yeah. Yeah. I had a probate judge. He took me in the vault and they had a bunch of tables and all in there. Yeah, so ours was is up. very small. Huh? I said our vault is very small. It was one from, this used to be a community bank and they donated the building to us. Did That's pretty nice of them. Yeah. I like that little building. <laughs> it's been here for a while. Yeah. So why are you taking everything? Just. It's just safe. You think we're going to drug you or something? You don't know who I am? <laughs> no, I don't know who you are. Am I supposed to? No, no. no. You're doing fine, though. I'll swear to God, you won't. You keep doing what you're doing, man. Wouldn't hurt to know who I am. I guess old Ray Ray, she skipped out of town two weeks later after she, uh, you know, she changed her whole tune. She retired, resigned, whatever. You'll never know the truth, all that. They don't even know who court clerk and town clerk is up there. You'll hear uh, Heather say that Miss Diane here, she's the magistrate. Miss Diane saying, oh, I'm just a temp. I'm just old temper. Heather says she's she's the uh, active magistrate at the moment while they train the other girl. Now, I'm trying to leave that new girl out, uh, the magistrate, the new girl. I'm trying to leave her out right now. 
Gonna need to find out where she come from though. Got a feeling that she's kinfolk somebody up there. She just didn't uh Heather says nobody else filed for the magistrate job. I find that hard to believe. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that nobody else didn't file for town clerk. <clears throat> don't believe that either. So that's, that's what you get. The Whitman chick said it all. It's like whoever likes you the most gets the most reward. Obviously, they wouldn't like that much, probably because they wanted to do stuff by the book. I'm glad Miss Whitman stepped out there on a the limb because it answered a lot of questions for me. <laughs> Thank you. All right, right here, that was the mayor that walked by and said, let me see what's taking her so long. They've done held me here. Let me set the stage. They've been held me up for like 20, 25 minutes standing around in here, right? I've done got Heather over there. She's panicking. She's on her walkie-talkie. Now watch the mayor. He'll cut off into the bathroom. When he's in that bathroom and I'm sitting in the chair I am, we're less than 10 feet away. Watch. Hey, how you doing? How can I help you? Miss Heather? Uh-huh. I wish you would like for me to call you. Sure. Miss Sanders. I'm sorry? Ain't your last name Sanders? No, it's Lindsay. Oh, it's Lindsay? Mm -hmm. Okay. She told me Sanders. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to call you whatever you want to be called. Um, I need to uh, pull some public records a list of all the police officers. The sheriff hired reserve, even the reserve officers, pretty much the whole staff with the uh, yeah, heavy police department. Uh, no public records request, right? Uh, you don't have a policy or form, right? Um, give me a second, let me make sure that we're there. Because I've not had that. I'm not, I'm new. So, so I'm trying to get the hey, and then, and I'm, Thanks for telling me that. That way we don't I don't want to put nobody on the spot here, but I've been up here many times over the asking for a public records request form. And uh, you know, I gave them I don't know, I would say at least five times. I know this would make five or six times. Either which way the uh, last lady that worked here, she had long hair mm -hmm. down her or I got her name, I, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Uh, okay, well, she was sitting where you was, and I asked her, this was like the fourth time, but, uh, you know, she, she, we get right out there, we agreed that, you know, she said that she didn't feel like nobody needed to have to fill out a public records request for them to get public records. I informed her that that probably wasn't a good idea, but, you know, I also, I, I know the mayors had to heard about this, uh, the whole public records request thing, you know, that, you see where that could go bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I could, I can just walk in here anytime I want and pull public records, and I should get them like right now. You know, I tried to explain that to her, and she, she said no problem. Well, she goes, as long as I'm not the swamp is, you know, I said I wouldn't do that to you. Um, and that's where I left it, right? So now I have the public contacting me through my uh, fight the HR page, and they asked me uh, if I would come up here and get a list of all the police officers. Which I have hired on now, and uh, some other records too. Just need to know how this is going to go. Am I, am I going to get these records now? I mean, or <clears throat> see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I would like a list of who. I, and really, I don't even. I just just need to look at them with really. I know you're new, ma'am. So, 
Mm -hmm. Manos. Um, um, How are you liking it? Are you the magistrate, town clerk? Town clerk. Who's the magistrate? Um, Diane is temporary. She is temporary. Um, but we've just hired um, uh, a new magistrate to start next week. Male or female? Female. Female? Mm -hmm. What's her name? Jennifer. Jennifer? Talton. Talton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Court clerk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She will eventually be a magistrate. Okay, so you're asking for a list of police and reserves. Well, just everybody. Okay. How, how many do you have? You shouldn't have, like, I mean, I'm just guessing here, what, eight, nine, ten? Mm, roughly. I was just guessing. <clears throat> okay, and what else? Um, who, who hires the police officers? Does it go through the city council? It goes through the council. Does it? All hiring goes through the, the city. town, goes through the, the mayor and the town council. Great, that's great. That's what I would figure. I didn't know the chief had, you know, direct control over who he hired. I'm sure he has somewhat. Um, do y'all run uh, background checks? Mm -hmm. Do you run background checks on these? Drug testing? Mm -hmm. Great, man, that's great. Um, I come in here last time and Miss Diane told me uh, Tamara Aldridge is the prosecuting mm -hmm. attorney. Okay, uh, when was she hired? I guess I'd like to see that. Was there anybody else that applied for that job? I don't think because that was before my time, so I don't know the answer to that. Okay, well, I need to get the answer to that. Okay. okay. Uh, um, and how many other people applied for that job? Same maybe goes with the magistrate's job, too. Um, yeah, we could scat that down. Uh, um, and, and like the, the new magistrate coming in, it's not a magistrate yet, you know, it's pretty much a worker up to they go to classes for that <clears throat> okay um okay and uh along with let's see what you got i got a prosecutor tamara mm -hmm. i don't know when she was hired <coughs> How many applied for that prosecuting job as far as was well, she just hired straight out? Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Same goes with the magistrate. How many people applied for that? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not here to start in trouble. I said, Heather, you know who I am? Mm -mm. You don't know who I am? No. Okay. Well, let's, let's get in the way. Uh, I'm just being straight up with you. I know uh, I've been up here and when I come up here one of those last times, I had a city clerk that was working in there that recently got caught embezzling, what was it? Stealing funds. Mm. Nothing about that? You heard nothing about that? Myself? Can you imagine what's going through this lady's head right now? Wondering if I know. Wonder if he knows about me and Leandra. I, I could have played it on and see if she would have actually gave me Leandra's name and all. Um... Uh, this is enough right here for me to, nah. We're going to move forward after this one here. Sneed can move forward or he can stay, you know, in the grasp of the corruption that that mayor, there's nobody to blame but him. Take, listen at her. She says she knows nothing about that court clerk that embezzled the money. She just took that lady's job. She knows nothing about it, guys. That's what I'm saying. Listen to her. You can learn something just by listening. People will lie straight to your face. Now, it's just the way it is. Well, I mean, I've heard. I, I don't really want to get into that because right. you're into it, okay? <clears throat> and, uh, Again, yeah. that was before my time. So anything before me, I'm not going to answer to. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to, ma'am. Yeah. And I appreciate you telling me that. But, but, mm -hmm. I, but we have the right to know what's going on up here now. And if. Uh, the public records request form. It seems like if hiring officers and stuff is going to go through the city council and that public records request policy that I've asked for time and time again, hoping that they would go ahead and just put one in effect. That way I can walk in here. We don't have to do all this. See, I just fill it out, hand it over. Y'all got seven days. Yeah. You give me my, what I asked for. If you're going to charge me for it after the fact of this, no problem. I'll pay up front. 
uh, you know, we have the right to know who's being hired now and uh, the other applicants too. I mean, it's, it's, we want to make sure it's fair, you know what I'm saying? The whole Tamara Aldridge thing, that's, I really need that. How many other people, how many other attorneys you know, applied for that job? How did she get picked out of, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I don't know how you would write that out. We don't have a public records request for them, so I can't, you know what I mean? I can't just write out. That's going to be a lot. I would rather somebody just answer the questions. You know what I mean? And you don't have to go pull with that. And I don't need a bunch of, I just need somebody to be honest with me for sure, you know, because there'll be a backlash if I find out that they're not being honest with me about this. Uh, Tamara, especially, but also I have a problem. Well, I don't personally, but the, like I said, some folks in the community contacted me and asked me to come up here and find out who's working on this police department. I know Steve Gillen's chief, right? I like old Steve. Uh, that's why I'm not down there bothering him because <clears throat> she's really, especially if we went through the city council, you know, it's above Mr. You know, it's above Mr. Gillen. There ain't no sense of me going down there and putting him on the spot, right? So that's where we're at. So if you could just grab them records for me right now, I see the mayor's back there. Mm -hmm. You can maybe go back there and just and tell him what I'm after. I don't want to put him on camera, but I will. I'm not putting you on camera. That's back to your computer here. And you, obviously, you know I can do that, right? <clears throat> I'm not to put nobody on the spot, but uh. So tell me a little bit about who you are and. Um. Well, you know I don't have to, though, right? Right. But I mean, I'm, okay. I'm just asking. You're asking Thank me to man. be honest That's with you, and I'm right. asking you to do something. That's great. That's great. Was that a police officer that just walked through here? Mm -hmm. My name's Jason Brooks, okay? From fightdhr.com. You know who I am now, Miss Heather? I've never heard that before. Where'd you come from, Miss Heather? Um, just, you know, I'm just asking, you don't have to answer that. No, but I could ask where you get hired from, you know what I mean? I can. I used to work for Marshall County. Oh, God, please, I know. <laughs> Marshall County, too, right? Mm -hmm. I, uh, well, I think I left my wallet out, I'm sure, but uh, fightdhr. At gmail or uh, fightdhr.com will carry you to my page. My YouTube channel is the same. You'd probably just rather go there and look, but you never heard of me? Mm -hmm. oh, that's good, man. And I can promise you that I'm not here to put you on the spot. But um, I have it documented from the last lady that worked here that I just walk in here and pull any records I want anytime I want. And uh, here I am. So if I could go ahead and get that list of the officers. Okay. If you'll give me just a few minutes to... You take your time, ma'am. Uh, I might walk outside. I'm, I'm going to get with him about the, the form, though, just to make sure that there's not anything that needs to be filled out or does need to be filled out. Because like I said, I've, nothing. I've not had to deal with any of that yet. And I'm, like I said, with me being new, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing everything on my end the way that I need to be doing it. So. Right. Uh, um, yeah. you know, I could quote the state laws to you. You should know that public records is public records, right? Mm -hmm. I understand that some redactions will be necessary as far as. And I do understand that public records are public records. Thank but you, there are some things that are public and there are some things that are not public. And so. Yes, ma'am, I just said I understand that there's yeah. redactions that need to be made. Um, I wouldn't even be here. Uh, you know, I was asked to come here. Uh, I guess other people are scared to walk in and ask stuff like this. You know what I mean? I don't get it. I mean, but you know, when you say who I am, you understand that. You know, I'm not. I've given everybody here a chance to do. Are you recording me, man? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I sort of wish you was, so you could, so you could just be back here watching it, and that way you ain't got to go back there and, and then we miss something on these public records. Um, again, uh, a list of the officers right up front would be great, and I'll be just. Show it to me. I don't matter. I can just take a picture of it. I have it. I just need to see the names. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know what I'm looking for. And then uh, uh, that Tamara Aldridge. I'd like to see who else applied for that job and how she wound up with it. Okay. Uh, I have a problem with Aldridge. And, uh, yeah, the best between me and Miss Aldridge. Okay? okay. When I found out she was working at beer, it uh, disappointed me. <coughs> but I'd like to know uh, the magistrates too who all applied for the magistrate's job and why we trained it in one 
just curious on that now. This is just, you know, I, I, a magistrate should already have some kind of background in law, some kind of, and it ain't got to be a master's, just a bachelor's, or, I mean, I would say so. And from what I read, that's, I'm just curious how that works. They're, they're good people, and they deserve to be trained mm -hmm. and get paid for that job. That's great. That's what I, you know, that's great. I have no problem with it, but you're training your mind. And they may also, they may already be in school for stuff like that as well. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. I hope they were. Um, yeah, we should. We have. strongly encourage in the hiring process that you have. All right, we got cops coming out everywhere. We got one sitting over here and one just pulled in. running around with that tag on that vehicle, sir. Well, brand new. I'm playing with you, man. Um, our attorney said, fill this out. City attorney said, fill this out with your request. Take uh, it right back in there and tell your attorney. I said, no. Yeah. I am just letting it be known. I've done been up here five times. Asked for that. Nobody would produce it. This would be the sixth or seventh time I'm in here. I gave Mr. Kiker. Is it Kiker? Yes. I want to make sure I get your name right. She you seem like a pretty good officer. I've been up here all I'm coming. If okay. uh, y'all want to. I think I need to go back in there and talk to Miss Heather. You want to walk me back in there? Well, uh, she gave me this form to give to you. I don't, I don't care, Miss uh, Heather. She's per the per the city attorney. If you want information, you got to make a request for it. No, Fill no. out this form. No thanks. Turn it back in. All right. And we'll provide the information well, to you. Let me go in there and get her on camera because she's the one I'm dealing with. I see you. You know what I mean? Her sending you out here with that right there. Ah. Means well, I'll, that means nothing to me. Stand you, tight. You, I'm going to ask her to step out of here, and she'll tell you the same thing I just I, did. I'll step back in there. It's public property. Let's go, Mr. Kiker. Oh, Miss Heather, you sent a police officer out there with a now I, I mean, I volunteered to bring it out there to you. No, sir. Hey, but it's, this is between me and her. Now, right, Miss Heather? Mm -hmm. you, you're a city clerk? Yes. Okay. I, this officer just now brought me a public records request for him on visit five or six, right? Now, I was nice about it. And you can tell the mayor or whoever, and I'm being nice right now. I'm not going to be nice if I drive out of here without any public records. And you can call Brett King, and you can call the mayor back, and uh, that's my stand right there, okay? okay. <clears throat> well, and I'm just telling you that we have to have that. Nope. Event. No, you didn't. I have, I have a, the, the last city clerk, I asked for that repeatedly, made five trips up here. The city clerk is not here anymore. It's not my so problem. It is not my problem. It's the city's problem. So that's the way it's going to be. I'm going to walk out of here. You're not going to give me a list of these police officers, right? You're not going to give me nothing I just asked for. The simplest stuff that I could possibly ask for, you're not going to give me without filling that out right there, right? Yeah. Jason, that's, that's the process. I'm going to give you all five minutes, and I'm going to go sit on the tailgate of my truck and finish my coffee. Call Brett King. Tell him what I'm doing. Are you recording me, sir? No. <clears throat> you? Yep, good, sir. Good, good. I want somebody to record me because I want to understood that I've been up here that many times. Five minutes, and I will leave out here. Mr. Cocker, Jason, you're a nice Jason. officer, but this has nothing to do with y'all. we're sorry that you didn't get the information that you... <clears throat> no, sir, I don't think you're sorry is, at all. This is the process. I've been up here five times, sir, asking for that. Did not get it. Now, I ain't... I, well, we're that's, trying to go that's, the, I'm being nice. To to I swear the, to God I'm being nice, Jason, guys. we're trying to go through the proper steps to get you Five the minutes, call Brett King, you and you explain to Brett King what I just said. If you need to send that to him, go ahead. He's running his body camera. <clears throat> Mr. Cocker? 
no disrespect to you. I no, like no, you, no, sir. No disrespect to you, but <clears throat> you, you either, Miss Heather. This is how the, the process for getting information. Sir, do you understand? I have been up here five or six times well, and, to and, get that information, and y'all did not have a public records policy on file. Y'all did not send it through the council to to create one. I, after I gave you chance and chance and chance again, Mr. Cocker. I appreciate that you've had to <laughs> yeah. come up here several times, and 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 I know it's, it's <sighs> frustrating. Well, but this is the process. You know, do you know that the last was it the last city clerk who was it that got caught in buzzling not too long ago? I, you know, I come up. She's one of the ones that I asked that for. She shunned me off like I was nothing, and I understand why the community's contacting me now. It's like nobody wants to walk in here and pull public records. It's state and federal law. I've given y'all every chance to produce that. Just because I come up here on round six or seven, and now you're going to produce it after she's sitting here and called Brett King. Have you spoken to Brett King this morning? I forget you have, man. And we've now produced what you need. Nope. Should have produced it the, the last five times, Mr. Cocker. Right. Have I not? Did I not openly request them records so from you, Miss Heather? You don't. You don't want the Mr. Form. Cocker. You don't want the phone. Please, Mr. Cocker. Come sir. on, man. Please. Sir. This, yeah, no, but, sir. This has nothing to do with y'all. Why is the police department up here when I'm trying to pull public records, is, sir? Is, you can get pulled public records. Go through the process, but listen here. I've you're been not, through this process. You're not going to demand anything right now because if Miss Heather, have I demanded jail, anything? You're going to take me to jail? Is that what you just said, sir? I said that can get you put in jail. And I hadn't done that, demanded you, nothing. Mr. You Lotta, what's your, what's your name and badge number? I just, you know my name and No, I don't. Number. M. Lotta, is that how you spell it? Yeah. Badge number? 630. 630. Yeah. Good to meet you, Mr. Lotta. Good to meet you. Please just stand, no, please just stand there and record and no, be quiet listen. because I'm listen, speaking to Miss Heather. You don't tell me to be quiet. But you don't, but tell, you don't tell me what I'm doing, listen. sir. I'm here listen. to pull public records. And I'm telling you, just be calm. got five minutes, Miss Heather, to call Brett King back. And tell him what I said. Be calm, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally ignoring you, and I am being calm, sir. They well, want to, Mr. Cocker keeps, he keeps, sir. You won't be ignoring me long, because if you, don't what are you going to do? If you, if well, you, you going to arrest me, and, sir? If you get in here and start getting disorderly, then I, we're going to do what we have I'm, to do. You're the one that broke in, sir. I'm sitting here explaining to myself, trying to be nice. I'm, you have not a clue, Mr. Lotta, Please. I am a police officer asked to come down here For? to keep the peace. And you're getting loud, Miss Heather. Demanding. Have I been peaceful, Miss Heather? You just told them that they've got five minutes to get you this information. No, 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 no. They had five minutes to contact Brett King. Get your facts straight, Mister Lotta. Doesn't matter. You're, yeah, you're you just threatened demands. to take me to jail over public records, sir. No. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, yeah, did. yeah, you did. I said, did you yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Sit here and get loud. Five minutes, Miss Heather. This is between me and you. These cops have nothing I, to do with it. I've already spoken. So with that's you. the end of the deal, right there, right? That's it. That's it, right? I'm asking you, ma'am. Unless, unless there, I have verbally, I have just verbally asked you for them public records straight out, and I was nice about it. Okay, I'm just giving that chance to you, Miss Heather. Fair enough, right? Do you understand that the process is fill out that form? Man, do, do you understand that you have nothing to do with these public records, Mr. Cocker? But we you have, don't, sir. But she does, and she told you, and she explained that to you. And I'm giving her the opportunity. And she explained that to you. Man, I wish you'd just stay out of it. I wish you that ain't you doing nothing but escalating shit. I ain't trying Thank to. Thank you, Miss Heather. I appreciate it, okay? I want you to know that I gave you that chance, all right? And you have a good day, sir. You, you want to follow him out to the truck? Put some Spray me with mace or something? You, I mean, come on. You going to lock me up for asking for public records? Yeah, you did. She said jail. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Just yeah, stay out of stuff that you have nothing to do with, sir. Yeah. I I didn't know. Uh, I didn't chime in there on them last couple of segments of video. I wanted you to see what you know I was up against. Uh, look at Heather, looking at me. She can't read me because a lot of interfering she's probably wondering what i'm after she's she's panicking a lot of us are distracting me right so i'm having to deal with him I'm saying please you know just stay out of it i said be quiet i didn't say shut up <laughs> you know i was being nice that uniform and that gun and all that shit a lot of i oh, man it don't mean nothing to me no more it just don't i was trying to keep you and cocker out of it whether you see it or not, eh, it don't matter. It is what it is. 
D, you weren't really going to spark me with no maze for them public records, was you? Uh, yeah, let's get them text messages for, uh, for my mare. Let's see who all she was hitting when she went into panic mode. Tim Kent is on the city council up there, right? Now, Tim is, he's a hot fella to your face. <clears throat> he's a front man, is what I call him. Well, he has something to do with James Williams Trey Parsons, the one that was arrested for six active warrants strolling around down there. He's married to Leandra, which worked down there too. They both worked at the Blount County Sheriff's Department when all that happened. Well, Leandra backed into a tree over at Dale's. Uh, that, that one action that she did over there, it set in motion a $10 million lawsuit. It really did. Whether or not they see it, uh, that's their business. I see it. Uh, Dale had them up against the ropes. Uh, Leandra, she's the root cause of that. She tried to coerce and extort a uh, false testimony out of Dale's wife and the kid that Dale had hit them uh, so she could charge him with domestic violence, but they didn't do it. Now, Dale's, Dale's old lady said this. She said a lot, but she's their confidential informant now with that $10 million lawsuit. <clears throat> that's the thing they're hearing there. Uh, that's going to play out probably to not Dale's favor. Uh, now, that's the reason I'm throwing Tim in here. It's Tim's and in, he's involved in that $10 million lawsuit. You don't want somebody like this on your city council. I don't care who Tim Ken is anymore. I showed respect to him. I should just truck on, Mr. Kent. I mean, you know what Wicks has done. You know what she she got fired for backing into that tree and not providing uh, emergency services. If it would have been her alone, she should have done it. <clears throat> she didn't even do it for the person she had in handcuffs in the back of the car. Uh, come on. Got Tamara Aldridge and Sneed as prosecutor. Over the, all the tickets, DUIs, and all that, I imagine. Uh, Tamara, DHR attorney Tamara. You know, this is the woman that helped take my family. How is it that y'all got that? All it's like y'all went out looking for the worst of the worst for a town of 900, 867. I don't get it. Ann Sullins. I'd also like to get old Annie's full name, Virginia Ann Garrison Sullins, is that it? Just confirm that if you don't mind. And, um, uh, I guess that's about all I can slap into this video. There's three minutes right there. Uh, we gotta make some changes up there. That police department, they can't just run wild. The mayor, uh, it's just as obvious. There's a problem with that mayor. That's my take on it. Took a lot of time to throw all this together. But it's going to be worth it in the long run. Make some changes in Sneed. Jay Brooks, 5DHR.com. Peace.